good morning all of you uh, today we are going to discuss about ecosystem structure of ecosystem uh, before uh, going to discuss uh, this topic come under uh, sustainable development so we need to discuss about uh, sustainable development uh, what do you mean by sustainable anyone okay uh, sustainable uh, means able to continue over a period of time causing little or no danger to the environment okay and how we can define sustainability uh, basically sustainability focuses on making the need of the present without compromising the ability of future so sustainable development can be defined uh, as an approach to economic development of a country without compromising with the quality of the environment for future generation right now uh, do you think any uh, organism or living being live alone? It can't be possible because uh, even the living being has uh, so much of the need to uh, fulfill it to survive. It. So they uh, must associate with each other and have a functional relationship with external factors. So it is understood that the structural and functional system of communities and their environment is called ecology and ecosystem. ताकि वो सरवाइव कर सके तो ये सारे जो ऑर्गेनिज्म है वो 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 एक सारे कम्युनिटी जो है एनवायरमेंट है जिस सिस्टम के अंदर आएंगे उसे क्या कहेंगे इकोलॉजी एंड इकोसिस्टम ठीक है सो हाउ वी कैन डिफाइन इकोसिस्टम इकोसिस्टम इज डिफाइंड एज स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ बायोस्फीयर राइट comprising living and non living factors and their interactions okay now come to the uh, topic the structure of the system kya hoga now the structure of system kya hoga uh, agar ye ecosystem hai to must be ecosystem jo hai bahut sare components se bane honge theek hai so each and every ecosystem has several component to sustain it for long duration uh, example it needs matters matter means what water oxygen minerals carbon dioxide and different type of organism and continuous recycling of energy also so that uh, it can sustain for long duration Right. So these requirement are met by two very important component present in ecosystem. One is biotic component, another is abiotic component. See, uh, this uh, figure shows uh, the ecosystem uh, uh, of uh, where uh, it comprises of biotic component and abiotic component. I mean, for producers and consumers. And decomposers, ठीक है तो प्रोड्यूसर क्या करता है प्रोड्यूस करता है और जो प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर है सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर सब डिपेंड करते हैं एक दूसरे के ऊपर ठीक है जैसे ए, अगर हम बोले तो प्लांट जो है वो ग्रो करता है ठीक है बाय यूजिंग कहा सॉइल को यूज करेगा ठीक है है ना वाटर लेगा एटमोसफेयर से कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड लेगा और फिर आ, ये जो है इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ सनलाइट क्या करेगा 
फूड क्रिएट करेगा ऑक्सीजन क्रिएट करेगा और जो कंज्यूमर्स हैं प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर वो डिपेंड करेगा इस पे ठीक है प्रोड्यूसर्स पे और सेकेंडरी डिपेंड करेगा प्राइमरी पे ताकि ये साइकिल जो है कंटिन्यूसली चलता रहे जो एनर्जी का एक्सचेंज है वो वो चलता रहे ठीक है तभी ये लॉन्ग टर्म तक ये क्या करेगा सर्वाइव कर सकता है तो आपस में ये डिपेंड रहेंगे इंट्रेक्शन होंगे ठीक है ताकि ये पूरा इकोसिस्टम जो है हमारा वो सर्वाइव करता रहे नाउ कम टू द पार्ट इकोसिस्टम वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इकोसिस्टम इज कंपोज ऑफ टू टाइप ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स नेमली बायोटिक कंपोनेंट ए बायोटिक कंपोनेंट सो व्हाट इज बायोटिक कंपोनेंट बायोटिक कंपोनेंट आर ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड एंड ऑल्सो नोन एज लिविंग कंपोनेंट ऑफ एन इको ठीक है इसको फर्दर डिवाइड करेंगे तीन तरह से तीन तरह का होता है सब डिवाइड करेंगे ग्रुप में फर्स्ट वन इज प्रोड्यूसर्स ठीक है सेकेंड वन इज कंज्यूमर्स एंड थर्ड वन इज डी कंपोजर्स ठीक है दे आर लिविंग कंपोनेंट्स और ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड यू कैन डिस्कस वन बाई वन फर्स्ट प्रोड्यूसर वट इज प्रोड्यूसर हु इज प्रोड्यूसर दीज आर फूड सप्लायर All plants and greens, which are dumped as food. Okay. So, example, क्या होगा? अगर हम example से समझे तो कि जितने all green plants हैं, trees हैं, which takes carbon dioxide from atmosphere, water from soil, and sunlight from sun, and plant undergoes a chemical reaction by the Uh, we already studied in our schools. This is known as photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plant liberates oxygen into the environment, which is essential for life. Also, it produces food, starch to survive, and also uh, the other consumer depends on plant. Uh, so, these are called producers. Come to the part consumer. Who is consumer? Those who consume foods, okay, uh, uh, which are again uh, classified in four groups. They are primary consumer, secondary consumers, uh, tertiary consumer, and omnivores. Okay. So uh, who is primary consumer? They depend only on plants for their food, and they are called एग्जांपल्स क्या क्या ये लोग है कौन है डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फ्लाई डियर्स रैबिट्स ऑल दिस डिपेंड्स ऑन व्हाट प्लांट्स फॉर देयर फूड तो सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर फूड सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर दीज आर बेसिकली एनिमल्स डिपेंड्स ऑन अरबी होर्स ऑफ प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर फॉर पियर फूड एग्जाम्पल्स क्या हो गए फ्रॉग है डिजायर्ड है पीस है स्नैक्स है सो दीज आर सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर इस पिक्चर में देखिए इस पिक्चर में क्लियर है कि ये प्रोड्यूसर है और ये प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर डिपेंड्स ऑन वो प्लांट्स फॉर फूड पियर फूड ठीक है Secondary consumer depends on primary consumer, and uh, tertiary consumer depends on secondary consumers. Now, consider tertiary consumer. All wild animals like tiger, lion, fox feed on animals, and they are called carnivores. ये क्या करते हैं? Different जो type के deer है, rabbits है, इसको खा जाते हैं. ठीक है? तो ये इन्हें बोलते हैं tertiary. Now come to the fourth one, uh, omnivores. We are we human beings are classified as omnivores. We uh, feed on plants and animals. Chain kaisa karo? Plants produce food with the help of sunlight. The solar energy of plants is the primary consumer. Herbivores. Second, as well as uh, another consumers, uh, second and third consumers, carnivores and humans. So this is the uh, chain of consumers. So the consumers. Now, uh, come to the uh, 
Composers uh, feed on the dead bodies of the plant animals and convert them back as nutrients into the soil. So, these uh, are the These are termites, ants, and some bacteria are called decomposers. Also, some animals uh, who feed uh, the food on dead bodies uh, called frogs, dogs, wolf. Eagles are termed as decomposers also. Okay? So, it is very important that decomposers ka, uh, our ecosystem and our environment so that the dead bodies can decompose. Ho so, so, these decomposers not only act as scavengers to clean the dead bodies but also serve, serves as uh, parasites participate to clean our ecological cycle also. so this figure uh, depicted see uh, uh, our uh, component of ecosystem um, biotic component biotic components already we discussed uh, producer consumer consumers depend on plants pe. They, they, they feed their food from plants uske baad secondary consumer kya karenge is sab ko kha jayenge primary consumers ko they feed their food from primary consumers theek hai uske baad jo tertiary consumers hai they can feed uh, from second, secondary consumers theek hai uske baad jo decomposers hai wo kya karte hain jo dead bodies aa gaye usko usko उसको खा जाते हैं उसको फीड करते हैं जो फूड सो so, क्या होता है कि सारे डीकंपोज हो जाते हैं और फिर से जो सोइल से उसमें न्यूट्रिएंट्स आ जाते हैं ठीक है ये और ये क्या काम करता है इकोलॉजिकल आवर इकोलॉजिकल सिस्टम को के क्लीन करता है ठीक है रिसाइकल करता है मे हेल्प करता है सो दीज आर द कंपोनेंट ऑफ आवर इकोसिस्टम नाउ ये बायोटिक कंपोनेंट ये बायोटिक कंपोनेंट and also known as non-living components of the ecosystem. Examples of these components are temperature, light, and light. So, this is our form system. So, if we talk about this biotic component, yes. So, if we look at the form system, we can see water, which is dissolved, acid, mineral, and unsuspended matter. We can see the biotic components. Here, uh, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and water surface, a sunlight, taking sunlight from sun, uh, sunlight, uh, we are derived to components with uh, our ecosystem, and so the one biotic component, another a biotic component. Right? These are references where I have taken data for present lecture. Now, thank you for uh, listening. Stay safe. Take care.